Haran is reputedly one of the oldest inhabited places in the world, a place where Prophet Abraham resided and home to one of the oldest universities in the world, Haran is notably recognized for its unique beehive houses. Join us as we walk around and explore this once ancient city. After exploring the city of San Liurfa the day before, we decided to drive south to visit a place we'd been wanting to see for a long time. Though Haran may have been an ancient city in the distant past, it has now been reduced to a small inhabited village located 25 kilometers from the border of Syria. We've now just entered Haran city and we can see what we came for. The beehive houses on the right and the castle on the left. Walking around and exploring the city by foot is probably the best option but it's easy to get carried away driving around, exploring and seeing the castle, the people and the beehive houses. As we parked up our car near the castle, a group of excited kids came to welcome us and see what all the fuss was about. <laughs> how are you? Very good, how are you? You're on camera. Say hello to the camera. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What's your name? Nice to meet you. What's your name? What's your name? My name is Ibrahim. My name is Emre. Emre, where are you from? Are you from Syria? Are you from Turkey? I'm from Turkey. You're from Turkey. Nice to meet you. Our first stop was the beehive houses, so we decided to get a local guide to show us around. These are beehive houses. People still live here. Can I give you information? You see that this is the house, cultural house. Okay. 16th century AD in Haram people, they taken, uh, they came to in Iraq. Okay. In Fallujah, and uh, they taken in castle and first university brickstone, and after that they built in here, they built a beehive house. This house summer time cool, winter time hot warm. Okay. Every one room they built in 1,500 brickstone. Okay. And every three years they make a restoration inside okay. red soil, upside black soil. This house 400 and 500 years old. And also this house three countries of the world. Turkey okay. in Haran, Syria in Aleppo okay. and in Italy. 55 years ago, one guy, they came to the Italy guy. He painted this house inside and upside. And after the, he built it in Italy, in Alberabello. Truly, so he built something like this in Italy. Yes, because he liked the design. Yes, oh, okay. uh, and also this is the house they had the twenty-two room first okay. house manager. He had the nine wife, forty-five children. They wow. live in here. You see, there is the room, guest room, traditional the room. This is how people sit on the floor. Yes, and what what are all these here? This yes, is the coins. coins. All the coins they find in here. Oh, okay. Different civilization. You know, they came to in here. Seven. Oh, they found here on the floor, maybe yes, for, underground. In, underground. Underground yeah. because oh, uh, rain wow. in here a lot of winter time. When the rain, they find uh, all the underground. Different oh, okay. civilization. Oh. You know, Assyrian, Babylon, Byzantine, wow. Roman. Wow. Okay. A lot of tourists they came to here. Uh, one day, one hundred, two hundred bus. Guru. Wow. Wow. Did did a lot of tourists come this this summer with the coronavirus? For uh, this summer, only European tourists they come. The first university of the world. The university is yeah. here. Okay. And uh, they had the near the university, Prophet Abraham, the house. Oh, okay. Prophet Abraham? Yes, here? They or? made it in here. Oh, in Haran city. In Haran in here. They meet in the first wife, Sarah. Okay. A lot of Syrians here? Yes. Li living here? A lot of, a lot of Syrians. Our local guide then took us on a walk across a large field towards another historical site, whilst giving us information about the history of Haran. And so, also in Haran, seven different civilizations, seven different empires, they came to here. Assyrian, Babylon, after the Babylon, Hittite, after the Hittite, Byzantine, Roman. After the Roman, they came to here, uh, Islamic empire. This is the sun and this is the moon. For the Hittite, the empire, they pray the sun and the moon. For okay. the Hittite, uh, the sun and moon, same the gods. Oh. For the Hittite empire. Uh, 639 AD, after the Caliph Omar, 
they came to here Umayyad. Oh, okay. Umayyad yes. Empire. So very early. Yes. yes. The Umayyad Empire, 744, 750, when they came to here, the Umayyad Empire in Haran, after the Damascus in Haran, second the capital. Okay. 20,000 people, they living in here. Wow. And also so it was a Har very big city yeah. then. In Haran means Har. Har means hot fire, Arabic. You know the Prophet Abraham mother names? I think so, you don't know. Yes. Prophet Abraham mother names Amila. Amila. Yes. Okay. Prophet Abraham mother names Amila. You know, 11 prophets, they came to here. Yes. This area, you know, Prophet Abraham and Prophet Jacob. And after the Prophet Jacob, they came to here. Prophet Moses. Moses, After the Musa. Prophet Moses, they came to here, Prophet Jethro, Prophet Shuaib. Okay. We finally arrived at the site of an ancient mosque and one of the oldest Islamic universities in the world. It is believed that these ruins once were home to legendary scholars such as al battani Ibn Taymiyyah and Thabit Ibn Qurra who were born and raised in Haran. The tower that you see was once used to calculate time using the shade of the sun. In the 11th century, it is believed that Salahuddin Ayyubi came here and built an arch and parts of the mosque and madrasa. However, in the 13th century, at the time of Genghis Khan, the gate was destroyed. After a thorough excavation of the place, Professor Mehmed Unal and his team found 10,000 historical artifacts, including coins, statues, perfumes and toys. It is also believed that this spot here marks where the Prophet Abraham once resided with his wife and nephew on his way to Palestine. Close by, visitors can get remarkable views of Syria in the distance. The way of life is simple here. It felt like we went back in time. Domestic camels and goats wander the streets whilst children herd sheep. With there being so many camels here, a trip to Haran is not complete without riding one.